How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the West Coast episode 2. I am of course as always Deej72. Thanks for joining me. Uh, for the last video I did get a few views on it which is nice and a new subscriber out of it so thanks very much. Guys don't forget you can help out this poor Canadian boy by hitting that like button and if you take it one step further and go ahead and smash that subscribe button you'll be notified of when these videos come out just finishing up uh, with the cover crop here on field uh, looks like field 15 yep I had a worker doing it and he did well, he did about as good as I expected him to, to be honest. So we're just going to finish this up real quick and then move on to something else. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys, too, I found uh, another way to sell silage bales. So we're going to be giving back the mixer wagon. Big, uh, Mega Mamoid, I think it's called, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, um, as it turns out, you can sell silage bales at the bale sell points. Um, I didn't think you could because there was no, no numbers listed for it. Prices, I mean, no prices listed. But you can do it. And you can make quite the tidy little profit too. Um, like any other map you can sell on, once you sell it, you get $2,600 a bale, which adds up really quickly. As you can see, I've got $61,000. I've already sold some. Um, I have some more to sell that we I've got set up over at the sell point already. But I thought what I would do, just just to uh, do something a little different I thought I would showcase um, a couple of the mods that were released this week I will be putting the names up because uh, off the top of my head I, c I couldn't tell you who they were but I will be putting the names up of who was responsible for them um, it is a new conveyor belt Not too sure uh, what I would use it for yet, but that doesn't mean that they're not working on uh, another mod to come out to to accompany it. They they sometimes do that. I remember when the pack of four bailers came out, um, you could put an attachment uh, to attach a trailer to it, and I couldn't figure out why until a couple weeks later they came out with the bale stacker. Um, to go along with it. So there could be something in the works that they're working on right now for console. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Time will tell. But I thought, yeah, I would I would feature that and along with uh, a new bail spike pack that came out. Uh, there's a new bail, like a wrap bail grabber and a couple new bell spikes. I won't be showing the bell spikes, but I will show the uh, the bell grabber. It's kind of neat. Now I won't be I won't be selling them this way all the time, so don't think that I've I've got this set up permanently. I just thought it'd be a good idea to to uh, feature a couple of the mods that came out. So we will head over there in just a second. Uh, so yeah, I've got all the fields harvested, obviously, and we put uh, the cover crop on the other two, and this is the final field that's getting the cover crop done. And then we will uh, move on to the plowing phase once it's finished. So there we go. That's ah, pretty good. It's not perfect. I see a couple of tiny little spots, but it's not a big deal. Uh, anyway. That's finished. So we'll go ahead and 
park this up. And of course for plowing we're going to be getting, uh, we're going to be renting a second plow. Probably uh, the Jimpa series, if I'm pronouncing that, Jimpa, Jimpa, <laughs> Jimpa, yeah. Probably this one here I'm thinking. Um, we have enough horsepower in our vehicles to, to take care of it, so we'll be getting one of those. Probably just lease it. Uh, but it'll it'll help speed up the, the plowing process, obviously. Okay. So now that we're finished, uh, we're going to go ahead and head on over to uh, Little... Little Wood Hope, I think it's called. Little Wood Hope Farm. And I will show you the new... The new... Jeez. Uh, brain freeze. Conveyor belt that came out. And the bell, rat bell grabber. So I will see you over at the farm in just a second. Okay, so here we are. I just set the conveyor belt up over here. It was just, I figured it'd be better over this side than trying to get it worked in here. I probably could fit it, but I just thought it would be easier. I'm only going to do this for a few bells, guys. I'm not going to do this all the time. I just wanted to feature feature the conveyor and uh, the bell grabber there. Uh, the conveyor belt holds all the, or it takes all the uh, crop types. It takes wood chips, it takes logs, it takes bales, both round and square. A um, couple of features you can get in and you can start it up like you would a normal vehicle. As you can see it comes up. Uh, goes forward and back a little bit there, somewhat. There is legs. I don't know if... Yeah, there they are. The red legs, you can kind of see them. You can extend them like a brace. Don't really need it though right now, but there we go. There, so you can set them down there for extra support. We'll start it up. Uh, it is maneuverable too. You can like go forward and backward and you can steer it around. And then we have the bail grabber. Um, not normally how you would do it and like I said I'm not going to be doing it this way all the time but I thought it'd be a good way to to feature the mod I just leased uh, I leased all the equipment we'll be returning it bell grabber actually works pretty good it's not too too bad takes some getting used to but once you do actually works fairly well. You can also get uh, side rails on the on the conveyor belt um, if you want. And you just come over, get it pretty centered and let it go and she'll take it all up there. There we go. Sold. As you see, 20, 26, 46 per bale. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to show that to you guys. And the newest thing that came out since I didn't feature the uh, the mower in the last video. Oh, let's try this. There we go. We'll do a couple of these and then we'll move on to something else. Uh, so I managed to, um, with the sale of some of the crops that we did, I was able to purchase another hay field. Oh, yeah, see, oh, almost saved it. It takes some practice. 
definitely take some practice to get this set up right. But it does work, so it's definitely a plus. There it goes. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, that's the new conveyor belt and the wrapped bale grabber. This apparently works with both square bales and the round bales. Um, I haven't used the round baler because I'm not a big fan of the round bales just because they roll away on you too much and not a big fan of that so especially on a, a very hilly map such as this one hmm. Oops. as you can see that takes some getting used to as well So yeah, apparently you can you can put small logs on here and uh, everything. It, it just it takes everything. So like I said though, personally I don't know uh, what I would use this for, um, but they may be coming out with uh, an accompaniment mod like a hayloft or something. I don't know. I don't I haven't figured, got that figured out yet. I might have a couple of uses for it actually. I'm gonna have to think about that. But uh, we will see. Anyways, I am going to continue on and finish these bales off. And I will see you guys back at the main farm very shortly. And we're back. And with the money we made from the sale of all those bales, 30 in total, we were able to purchase yet another field, uh, field 33 here, along with uh, the header on the front of this thing. Um, what I didn't realize, unfortunately, until afterwards, is that I bought one that was a little bigger than I think I was supposed to, but I think it'll work. I think it'll be all right. So yeah, we are now the proud owner of Field 33, which will help us out. We're doing a little late night harvesting here. It's about it's at about eight quarter to nine there on the time p.m. So we'll try and get through this as quickly as possible. And uh, we'll probably have to leave the plowing until the next episode. And I'll probably be cutting some more grass and doing yet more silage bales. But it's a necessary evil, guys. It's a necessary evil. If you want to make money, got to do what you got to do. A lot of times it's wash, rinse, and repeat. But this field will definitely help us out because we'll be using it as a silage, uh, silage field. And it's fairly close to Mountain View Farm. Not extremely close, but fairly close. So... Plus, now we have an extra crop that we can sell, which is a good thing. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to, I meant to show you guys, we might have time uh, near the end of the episode. I wanted to show you guys another uh, modded DLC I bought. I'll, I'll feature that in this video too. It's a, the straw and forage silo. Um, I put it up at uh, the cow, the dairy farm there, so we can store straw there for bedding. And probably silage too, if if we if I so feel the desire to do that. Keep some for the cows and keep some for uh, sale at the BGA, which might not be a, a bad idea. Make as much of it as we can. We're progressing along quite nicely, though, guys. I must say, like in a short amount of time. We've already bought this field, and I bought uh, another hay field up by Mountain View there. Field 21 is newly purchased. So we're doing good. We are doing good. I already bought two fields. The hay field costs $36,000 to purchase, and this field costs 40000 to purchase. So really good pricing. Can't say no to a good deal. Now we're not going to get like a huge amount out of this crop simply because it's it's not fertilized and, and we didn't prepare the field so it's going to be basically the bare minimum but something is better than nothing, right? And we may actually be able to use some of it for, for, uh, for pigs a little later on. Depends on how much is left over. We'll probably sell one trailer full and then keep the rest. Not a bad plan indeed. So, I think what I will do is get this done quickly so that we don't waste a lot of time. And, uh,. Hopefully we're done before it gets too, too dark and you guys can't see anything. Uh, but if it does, I'll, I'll just skip forward to the next day so you guys can actually see what the hell is going on. Anyways, we'll put on some music here and fast forward through this field.
Okay, so we got just a little over a trailer full, 21,000 liters, and there's still some in the hopper and the harvester. Uh, the prices aren't the greatest right at the moment for corn, so we're just gonna run this back to run this back to the farm and put it in storage for now until we can either get a better price for it or if we end up getting pigs, they'll be able to use some of it too. So it's quite all right. Uh, come on, where's the entrance? So yeah, we'll just throw it in Hill Ridge Farm here. Ha, <laughs> see I remember the name, people remember the name. So <sighs> Could have sold some at Little Wood Hope, but it wouldn't have uh wouldn't have been the best. And it's starting to get dark too, so about the right time. Actually, why am I bringing this? I don't need to bring this trailer. Just leave it out there for now. Uh, just run over to Mountain View real quick. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you what's going on over there. You can kind you can kind of see the silo through the windshield on the right there. There it is, right there. I just wanted to show you guys that what the money also went towards the straw silo. We got straw in there right now. We can put silage in there and manure and whatever else can go in here. It's about the best spot I could think of, and I didn't want to dump it on the ground because I don't know. I just don't like it on the ground. It looks messy. But anyway. Guys, thanks so much for watching. That brings us to the end of yet another video here of Farming Simulator 17 on the PlayStation 4. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Hope you all had a, a great weekend. Have a great night. And don't forget, smack that like button and smack that subscribe button, guys. We did get a new subscription, believe it or not, a new subscriber. And I hit my goal, one new subscriber, that's what I said. And we hit it. Let's try for two. Can we try for two? Let's go for two. Uh, yeah, so next video, guys, we'll probably do some plowing of uh, the cover crop, the radishes. I will seed field 33 off screen, probably. And then we will start reseeding some of these fields and getting ready to get our dairy dairy production up and running. Thanks for joining me, guys. Once again, I am Deej72. You all have a great night. And remember to look out for one another. It's a crazy world out there. Till next time, take care.